head coach Seth Appert had said ad nauseum over the years that it is very difficult to end a team's season. Well, for the first two periods tonight in their do or die game, the Emmerichs seem to have one foot on their flight to Cancun. But the switch flipped in the third, and the Amherst are headed back on their bus, somehow getting ready to play a game five in Rochester on Friday night. Devin Levi, 60 saves Thursday night. What would he have for an encore? Tested just four minutes in. Breakaway for Syracuse. Levi makes the save, but his team can't clear the puck. Gets back to Cole Kepke, buries it. It's 1-0 after the first. We go to the second. Crunch with once again an odd man rush. Levi getting a piece off the post. There's Walteri Morella there for the rebound. The deficit in two. Then a few minutes later, Crunch on the power play. A perfect play to Alex barre Boulay. Amherst down 3-0. Looking down for the count, but a new team emerges in the third. Brandon Byro camped in front. Pops it in. Rochester showing some life. Midway through the frame. Once again, a feed in front, Joseph Ciccone. The deficit is now just one, stays there until about five minutes to play in this one. The Amherst working it around, then Byro, the spinning behind the back shot, forces overtime, we're tied up at three. Then we go to OT, shot from the point. Guess who's standing in front of the net? Brett Murray playing for the first time in a month. Pops in the rebound, gives the Amherst the 4-3 win. Comeback victory, the series tied at two, and it's the assistant captain returning from injury who makes it all happen. What a game for the Amherst, down for the count. Now, back to life. Heading back to Rochester for game five. Carl Jones was there to see it all unfold in Syracuse. Carl, how can you explain what you saw tonight? Uh, AJ, playoff hockey, puck luck, any of the hockey cliches you want to use this time of year, that's all I got for you. I mean, any time that the Amherst and Crunch link up, especially in the postseason, you know there's going to be, be some theatrics. Remember, this is the inverse of what happened in Game 2 back at Blue Cross Arena. The Amherst were the team that jumped out to the early lead and then coughed it up late in the third and ended up losing the game. Into the third period in that intermission, Emmerich's head coach Seth Apper said he didn't give any rah-rah speech or anything like that. He told his guys, take a breath, take a break, and by the time that they hit the ice, they will be ready. This team has thrived under pressure, especially over the last two years, and Apper explained why. This group is very resilient. Um, you know, we talked about that yesterday. They, they truly treat each other like a family. Um, they care about each other, they treat each other the right way, they treat everybody at our rink the right way, support staff, our, our cleaning people, just everybody. When you, you've earned that feeling from each other that you're not going to give up on each other on big moments, and that, those are things that we talked about. That's why we've been good in adversity over the last couple of years, is because how they treat each other day to day. Uh, and and that came through in the third period. Uh, I mean, it feels great to be uh, to be back battling with, the, uh, with my teammates. You know, uh, we've created uh, such a special bond here that watching watching my brothers fight without me was uh, it was difficult. Uh, but uh, getting back in the lineup today and winning in such dramatic fashion, you know, it just only brings us closer. And it felt great to be back. So. This was the first time since 1983 that three straight games within the same series has gone into overtime. Look, I don't know if my body can take another overtime game for game five, but at this point, oh well. I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it because I'm expecting it once again next week at Blue Cross Arena. But until then, live from the On Center in Syracuse, I'm Carl Jones, AJ. My man, I'm exhausted. I'm about to hit the road, head back to Rochester and link up with y'all. Back to you in the studio. Get some rest, Carl. Thank you very much. By the way, that 1983 season ended in a Calder Cup.